Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. Praise God. We are live and we are well. Praise God. And I'm, I miss our friends tonight and everything, but I'm thankful for the spirit of the Lord that's in our midst. Bless the Lord. How was your day today? It was great and uh, just different today and uh, uh, blessed and just, uh, uh, as always, just something different. I mean, just keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah. And I was laughing uh -huh. today at one point because I, I said, if somebody asked me how I'm feeling tonight, I'm still, I'm still in the oven. I'm still being cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still being uh -huh. Molded and made. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a bold statement. It takes a, a, a courageous woman to make a statement like that. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not ready yet <laughs> to be served to the masses. <laughs> you see, you see, I'm not trying to uh, participate in that feast you had. You got going. <laughs> I haven't risen enough. Yeah. I, I remember this one time. I told you about this a long time ago when uh, we were in prayer and Brother Tom was uh, praying. Everybody was praying. And you know, when he prays, he gets real exuberant and everything. And he was saying, and Lord, we want you, Pastor, and I want you to just burn us up. Just burn us up. And I'm being all humble there. And I'm thinking, you know, I and then... I, uh, you know, but humble and just say, you know, not and not I'm agreeing with it in a sense, you know, I had the worst year I have ever had girl and God took me directly to what, what I agree with that prayer. You know, I didn't I didn't uh, refuse it. I didn't. Uh, do, but And so, I mean, I had the roughest year. It, it shows you you have to be watchful what you agree with, you know. And so yeah. then later, Brother John, we prayed, was praying again somewhere and he started praying that stuff. And I said, not me, Lord, not me, Lord, not me. Don't, don't let go, not me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not trying to go there. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean, prophet. In this day and hour, now, you know, you're a little more mature, you know, it's like, wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> yeah, you, you heard that song they were singing. Some lady was singing. I heard the, uh, the uh, used to hear it from time and time and time again, say, Killing me softly is killing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brother Tom, Brother Tom was saying, "Burn us up, burn." I said, "No, not me, Lord, not me, Lord. I ain't, I'm not trying to go there." Praise Jesus. He started praying. The next time, it's like, "Speak for yourself." Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, I said, "Oh my goodness, that's something." Praise God. But yeah. I'm excited. Bless God about the presence of the Lord, and I had this particular. A phrase and my thoughts and everything. So, Father, we pray that you would just have your way, oh God, through our conversation, through our time of prayer. Holy Spirit, we ask you to lead us, Lord God. Let us uh just flow with you, Father God. And you just have your way in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you. We praise you. But I had this thought, you know, um, and uh I put it on the screen, and it was about spending time uh looking in the rearview mirror you know you can't yeah. spend time looking in the rearview mirror you know and so often sometimes if not careful we can do that you know and i think about you know when you're driving a car then you can get in a dangerous situation if you're looking in the rearview mirror and not looking ahead i get a sense that god is uh uh cautioning us to be sure we look ahead you know we um you know, watch and pray that uh, we be wise uh, stewards of our time and everything. You know, sometimes when you are looking in the mirror, rearview mirror, you have to make adjustments with that mirror and stuff, you know. And uh, so it's a distraction in a sense, you know. Um, and it's also, you know, just um, in opposition to the way things should go. We're supposed to look in front of us. You know, we look behind us for certain things, but if you get uh, stalled up looking in the rearview mirror, I had I was riding with this one person one time and they said, oh, this car just on my bumper. It's just on my bumper. And they kept, you know, looking and that was bothering them more than going forward and everything, you know, so we need the rearview mirror and we have to look at it at times, but God said, don't spend time, you know, don't let that be a priority 
always looking back, you know. Yeah. And so yeah. I was just thinking about that, you know, how sometimes we can look back at uh, if only. Uh, if only I had done that. Those some are powerful words, you know, they'll rob you of your peace. They will rob you of your joy. They will rob you. Uh, the words, I wish, I yes. wish. Those words can rob us sometimes, you know, and uh, I think God would like us to get uh, uh, um, just some words that would take us where we need to go and take us where we need to focus mm -hmm. on, you know, and uh, we have to say goodbye to yesterday. You know, and Cindy, when we look at what's all been going on and the last couple of years, you know, how things have so changed, you know, it's almost like you hadn't had time to process the change and process um, how things look. And so what, what do you think about that? What are your thoughts about that? Things are so different in so many areas now. Yeah, you know, as you were speaking about the uh, uh, don't spend too much time looking in the rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought about that sometimes as you, you know, you see, envision yourself driving. And sometimes you just have to pull over. Just pull over. You know, if some, especially if somebody riding your bumper is the example yeah. you're talking about. Uh, sometimes you just got to find yourself, and especially in this day and what's going on around us, just pull over for a second. Yes. Uh, can't seem like you can't stay focused going forward, and behind you is is a lot of noise and a lot of activity that you, you seem to ca keeps getting your attention and distracting you. Yes. Pull over, pull over, uh, yeah. until some things pass. Sometimes it just takes pulling over to let some things pass and wait on the side, wait on the Lord, you know, and uh, clear your head, clear your thoughts, clear your heart. Clear your mind. Uh, get rid of some of the junk. Get rid of some of the clutter. Remember we talked, you used to talk about decluttering? Yes, yes. Uh, just for a moment, just pull over and declutter a little bit. And then take some deep breaths. I find myself doing that more than anything is just stopping and just taking some deep breaths with all this going on that can bombard our lives. Uh, not just uh, personally, but We've got everything coming in, filtered in from the news, from uh, the world, uh, natural disasters, natural events, and local events, uh, and, all, and, and then things, like I say, going on in your personal life with family, mm -hmm. friends, you know, associates on your job, on your jobs and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, sometimes we just have to stop. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was thinking about Apostle Paul, you know, and great, mighty man of God, great, you know, but he made this, um, the uh, spoke in uh, Philippians, let me see, I had it. The Philippians 3. Uh-huh. Um, 313, it says, mm -hmm. and this is the Living Bible Translation. <clears throat> and it says, no, dear brothers, I am still not all I should be but I'm bringing all my energies to bear on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. And I think I said, even Paul too had to be willing to release some things, you know, to forget some things, you know, and we recognize, you know, again, like in the automobile, there are times that we do have to look back, you know, in the review yeah. mirror for safety, you know, but, as a whole, it cannot be our focus, you know, it cannot be our guiding light to look behind us. You know, we have to say goodbye to yesterday at some points. There are some things we have to um, just declutter and let go and let God, you know. And so I was thinking, when I was thinking about that, God gave me a thought and he said, like, what about looking into the mirror of possibility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mirror of possibility, yeah. you know, and recognizing as we focus toward the future you know it's how good it is to have a dream a purpose a goal something to focus on something to look forward to something to uh a dream and plan something to activate in our lives you know looking forward you know looking into the realm of possibility meaning with god all things are possible you know and to dream again, you know, when we feel like, well, things are not like I thought they would be, you know, and we look at the church, we look at um, the stores, we look 
I mean, you out the malls, you look at things are so different, you know, but you know, I love that scripture where God said he causes all things to work together for the good for them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And it's like, God, how can you do this? Of course he can, because he's God, you know? And um, so where we might hold on to that little moment, but God said, I got some bigger moments for you. I got oh, something Lord. greater for you. I got mm-hmm. something more powerful for you, you know? So looking into that we're going to focus in on looking into that the realm of possibility looking into god said with him all things are possible yes it's possible to do that thing but even on a greater scale even in a way that uh it's better than what we thought you know um somebody might say well i saw myself here and doing this and things have so changed and everything you know but when we look into the realm of possibility we look into the mirror of god's word and we say see what his word says you know and i love the fact jeremiah 29 and 11 he said i know the plans that i have for you meaning that god foreknew everything about this day about covid or how things would change you know uh how uh you know he would give us the phrase no more church as usual he knew yeah, all yeah. this stuff you know he has a plan you know and i was talking to the lord last night i said god i want to see what this new church look like i want to see the new move the fresh and the new of you and i just got a feeling it's just like fresh water you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. something fresh and something natural in the sense that uh uh like a cool breeze of water on you you know uh uh something um just um just refreshing new wine uh new wine for new wine skins you know for god wants to do something fresh and new at this hour you know and um Mm -hmm. so just kind of looking and just getting a feel you know but you know i was excited because you know people are excited about the move of god you know in the with the college children and the different ones and then sometimes you read about the moves of god back in the day and everything and stuff you know but one thing i was thinking that they said hindered the move of god back in the day during the azusa time was the fact that when people would uh begin to try and control what the holy spirit was doing when they would begin to get up and they would put self in it. And yeah. this man, uh, I was reading this article. He said, when that happened, said the spirit of God lifted, he yeah. lifted from that yeah. move. Uh, so prayerfully that won't happen. And prayerfully, you know, God taking us this way, you know, we can like hands off and follow the flow of the Holy mm-hmm. spirit, you know, cause he brings life in. That is the only life he brings life in praise God. And we need that, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing that, uh, that freedom ride with Jesus, you know, that freedom ride with the Holy spirit. Yes. And you know, as you uh, speak it, it made me think of, uh, you know, I'm always thinking about the body of Christ and, uh, and kind of watching and seeing the move of God, you know, in the body and where he, you know, his desires. Yes. People in his body. And, uh, and I remember that uh, uh, word that the Lord had spoken some time ago about, uh, well, not long ago, putting on strength. And I think about revival and all that is, you know, I'm catching, uh, you know, a lot of chatter and conversation, uh, in the wind about revival, you know, and you see yeah. uh, uh, manifestations of different things rising and uh, presenting itself here and there. Like it reminds it reminds me of fires, little clusters of campfires popping yeah. up different places, little mm-hmm. light, you know. And uh, as I was thinking about that, it made me think and uh, about uh, why. Uh, and what has it got to do with the body of Christ? And I said, oh, dear God, I understand now. It's like a revival. We need we need this type of uh, strengthening yes. in the body of Christ for things that will present themselves down the road. Yes, yes. On the corner. Mm-hmm. Personally in our lives or globally or locally nationally it doesn't matter uh so i am grateful prophet i'm i I was so happy when i saw these different fires popping up 
different places and you do you you sense a shifting there's a something that's uh rising in the atmosphere in god's people you know uh, repentance in people uh they they're beginning to uh, see you know people are beginning to open their eyes to some things you know in the sense of the true and living god and uh and we need that strength we need to put on that strength for the days ahead yes and so i'm grateful for what the lord is doing in the earth today yes and, uh, yeah. as you said back to that don't look at behind what's ahead what lies ahead mm -hmm. and you see because it keeps you know it keeps hope alive it keeps saying oh god you're moving you're not going to leave your people in Egypt. You're not going to leave your people in the wilderness. You're not going to leave your people and forsake your people. You know, you're going to, you're bringing us, you know, bit by bit. Yes. And, and so we have to all be uh, in position, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, by staying in his word, by praying, by encouraging one another, edifying and lifting up one the other. That say, yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it, girl. We're going to make it. Yes. You know, it's encourage like, my family members, you know, just that's right. You know, sometime, you know, oh my goodness, you know, come on, you know, we can we go we can do this thing, we're gonna make this, we're gonna make it. Yes, you know, and I was thinking about Paul saying, I pressed toward the mark for the prize of high price, uh, uh the prize of the high calling of Christ, you know. I press, you know, and it it's like today, you know, uh when God we keep hearing, you know, a repeat, put on strength, put on strength, you know. But there's it's a press in there. You've got to press. You have to fight. It's like there's a war there because the enemy in the war is like behind the scene cunning in a sense because the enemy is like he don't want you to know that you're in a war. So he sends out smooth distraction, but they distract you anyway. They steal your time and you find yourself, oh, Lord, I was going to get in my scriptures. I was going to study. I was going to do this and do that, you know, and stuff. And you find that those distractions uh, uh, come and you have uh, somehow or another, you have been distracted for a moment. I lost some time along, but you have to really press and fight for that territory. You have to fight yes. for that time with God. You have to fight for that time in the word. It's a, a pressing way, you know. And, uh, you know, because when God gives you a word, he says, put on strength. Yes. He means that, meaning that there is something coming that we're going to have to have strength, not only for ourselves, but maybe for our next door neighbor, maybe for this person that we see at the store that's about to blow it and lose it. You know, I was at the store a few days back and I kid you not, this one customer, a young lady, Oh my God. The one lady at a register down there, she was, um, she came up to where we were at and uh, my sister and I were checking out and this lady came up there and she said, I will whip. I won't use the word she used, but she was ready to take care of business. They was, she was ready to throw down with this cashier right there. I mean, it was like, and uh, I mean, it was like, I said, Oh my words, you know, and so, and so then the other girl that was waiting on us cashier, she got on the thing and she said, there's a lady up here. She's threatening this lady. She's, you know, but it's that quick, you know, uh, put her on strength, you know, and this, for some reason, she just turned and went back down the other way and everything. So later the people went down that way with it and stuff, you know, but you don't know what you're going to have to face or what you're going to have to encounter, who's going to need a help or who's going to need a word or, uh, uh just um we don't know so we got to heed those words don't take them lightly you know get back in prayer get back into the place of watching and praying and many times we have to watch ourselves because uh hey are you doing what you need to be doing you know you need to be putting on strength at all costs you know uh uh oh, wow. <laughs> So praise God. So we are here and we are going to be doing some praying. And um, so we're going to uh, just hang out as long as we feel like God will have us to. And then we're going to jump back in because we come out to pray. We didn't necessarily come out for our audience, this and that or the other, you know. So pray. it's always good when the girls show up or whatever. But we are signed to pray and we're going to pray. Praise God.
And so, Father, right now, Lord, we thank you, God, and we praise you, Father God, even for the conversation, Lord God, that reminds us, Lord God, you're still requiring for us to put on strength. And Father, we pray, oh God, for the strength, oh Father God, to do that. And Lord, even as we pray, God, we ask for forgiveness, oh Father God. For many days, Lord God, we plan, Lord God, to really have a great lesson plan, uh, uh, begin to seek you or what have you, and we get distracted. Forgive us for allowing ourselves to be distracted, Lord God. Lord God, when you're in a war, we recognize, Father, we can't allow ourselves to be distracted, oh Father. So please forgive us, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you cleanse us from everything not like you, God. In fact, Lord God, we just repent, Lord God. We come out we, with our hands up. We can do better, Father God. We can do better. And we pray, God, for the grace to focus. We pray, God, for the grace to press in there to our word, our studies, our time with you, God. We pray for the grace, Lord God, to think on those things that are good and pure and just and a good report. We pray for the grace, Lord God, to look, Lord God, into the mirror of possibility, Father. Look into your word and see what your word says about our future, Lord God. We pray, oh, Father God, Lord God, that joy would be our portion, Father, that we would live our lives in such a way that the joy of the Lord would be our strength, oh, Father God. We pray, oh, Father God, that you bless us to live our lives in such a way, oh, Father God, that we have a praise life, Father God, that we have a life of thanksgiving and showing you gratitude, oh, Father God. We pray, God, for your wisdom, Lord God, how to put on strength, Father. We pray, oh, God, that you bless us to heed the presence of the Holy Spirit spirit God who is here to lead us and guide us and teach us all things and bring all things to our remembrance God we're praying oh father God for the fresh and new that you bless us to study to show ourselves approved a workman that need not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of the Lord God we just thank and praise you for your anointing that destroys the yoke God we pray you teach us new things Lord God we pray God that you give us understanding of your word God and understanding oh father God of your desire for our lives at this hour, Father God. And we thank you, Father. We praise you and we bless you, Lord God. Strengthen us, Lord, what we're weak at. Build us up, God, and make us strong, oh, Father God. Let us, Lord God, have a spirit of prayer, Father God. Oh, Lord God, we pray, oh, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. These blessings, not only for ourselves, Lord God, but for those that will come later and watch the video, God, those that may be on that we can't even see, Lord God, we're praying, oh, Father God, help us, Lord God, to come higher. Help us begin to pump weights, oh, Father God, to build ourselves up, God. Help us to do some repeats, Lord God, and pumping weights, Lord, we have to repeat. We have to go back to that scripture. We may have to go back to that prayer again, oh, Father God, but Help us to do whatever it is that we need to do, oh God, to put on strength, oh Father God. Oh God, it takes a weight, oh God, to wear your weight, oh Father God. A weight, oh Father God, to wear a heavier coat, oh Father God. A weight, God, to wear your glory, oh Father God. Help us to be able, oh Father God, to host your presence, Lord, in the way that you desire in this hour, Father. We thank you, God. We praise you. We ask you every blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Father. Oh, and Father God, we thank you tonight, Father. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for one more time, Father, that you have allowed us, Father, to come into your presence uh, and just lift up your holy name and to lift up your name, Father, in thanksgiving and gratitude, Father, and asking you for mercy and grace, Father. And as Father's already said, Father, just forgive us of our sins, God, on yesterday, today, and tomorrow, Father. Oh, continue, Father, just to purge us and purify us, Father. We ask you, Father, nobody can do us like you, God. You know how much to press in on us, Father, and how much and when to let your hand up on us, Father. We thank you for your gentleness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your benevolence, Father, and your mercy, God, in our lives, Father. Oh, Father, we know what we deserve, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we deserve death, hell, God, and the grave, God. Oh, Father, forgive us, God. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you, God. We recognize that you are sovereign. We recognize that you are omnipotent, omnipresent, Father, omniscient. We thank you, God, for your providence, Father. We thank you, God, that you are a holy God, that you are a righteous God. We thank you, God, that all belongs to you, heaven and earth, Father, and all that there is in there. God, it belongs to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. 
Oh, God, it's yes and amen with you, Father. And we thank you, Father. All things belong to you, Father. And, Father, you have the right, God, and the privilege, God, hallelujah, to do as you please, when you please, and as you please, Father. In the name of Jesus today, Father. Oh, God, just keep us obedient to your word, Father. Oh, God, continue, Father, to, to know that, that we recognize that we can bow the knee, Father. Keep us in humility before you at all times, Father, when we come before you each and every day, Father. Thank you for this night, for this opportunity, Father, just to be on this video, God. We thank you, Father, for these opportunities, Father, or just to put out and release out in the atmosphere, Father, a word of kindness, a word of, of, of good cheer to somebody, Father, a word of healing, Father. A word of saying, yes, God, you are more than able, that you are the great physician, that you are the great healer, you are the great deliverer, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus, you are all in and all, Father. We thank you, Father, today, God, oh, for our family and friends, Father, oh, for our children, our loved ones, our grandchildren, God, our spouses, Father. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus today, Father. We thank you, God, for the cities that we live in, Father. We thank you for this United States of America, Father. We continue to pray for our leadership over this country, Father. Oh, we need you today, Father. We need you today, Father, more than ever, God. Continue, Father, hallelujah, God, to balance the scales in each and every aspect of each and every life, Father, and collectively, too, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, continue to protect this country, Father, this United States of America, God, from the east, the north, the south, and the west, Father, from hurt, harm, and danger, Father, from enemies, foreign, God, hallelujah, Father, and those as well, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your mercy. We thank you, God, for your protection, Father. We thank you, God, for how you've protected us even down through this hour, Father. Continue to bless those people over in Turkey, Father, over there in Syria, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Continue, God, hallelujah, Father. You said to weep with those that weep, Father. Our hearts go out today, Father. We have not forgotten them, Father. We just lift them up to you, Father. You are the great comforter. In the name of Jesus, only you can comfort those hearts today, Father. But we ask you to remember them tonight, Father. In the name of Jesus, go into the hospitals, God. Oh, God, into the nursing homes tonight, Father. Go into each and every hospital bed, Father. Each and every place in this whole world, Father. And especially in this United States of America, God. Oh, continue, Father, to heal bodies, touch bodies, God. Resurrect, God, and raise up, Father. Oh, for this hour, your finest hour, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh, continue, Lord, hallelujah, God, to open our eyes that we will see, Father. Continue, God, we want to see into those things, Father, that we need, Father, to, that we can put on strength, Father. How will we put on strength if we do not know, Father, in the name of Jesus? Open our ears that we can hear you, Father. Oh, God, only your sheep hear your voice, Father. Continue, Father, to sharpen our hearing, sharpen our eyesight. Continue, Father, just to sharpen our discernment for those things, God, that pertain to you and kingdom business, God, in the name of Jesus. We want to be real kingdom citizens, God. We want to live in your kingdom here on earth, Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to represent you, Father. We are your ambassadors, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Continue, God, to make us real, to make us compassionate, God. Make us, God, hallelujah, Father, ready to show mercy, God, when mercy is needed. Show compassion when compassion is needed show kindness god and grace god all these things father hallelujah all belong to you father we cannot display a thing without your without your presence working on the inside of us by the precious holy spirit father in the name of jesus continue father to go before us as we go forth in each and every session that we come together in father whether we just by ourselves or others with us, Father. It doesn't matter, God, in the name of Jesus. God, you know all things. We just give you the glory. We just come before you tonight, Father, being obedient, Father, just coming together, God, as two of your people, just two of your saints, Father, just lifting up the name of Jesus of one mind and on one accord, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Just, Father, just go out, Father, to Anna tonight, Father. Go out, Father, hallelujah, to all the saints tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, and stir us up the more, Father, that we press in, that we press in, Father, with a greater hunger and a greater desire, Father. Oh, God, that we do get you revived. God, revive us, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father, with fresh revelation, fresh oil, fresh understanding, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, a fresh knowing you, Father, in the name of Jesus tonight. God, continue, Father, as we go forth tonight, Father. Have your way, Father. We yield ourselves to you, God. We bow before you, our Holy Father. 
We bow before you, Father. You have the preeminence in our life, Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, God. Amen, Father. Thank you, God. Thank Thank you, you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we thank you, God, and we praise you, Father God. We honor you, Lord God. We honor your presence in our midst, oh, Father God. We just thank and praise you that there's nowhere that you're not, Lord God, that you're omnipresent, Father God. We thank you for your omniscience, Lord God, that you are all-knowing, oh, Father God. And we thank and praise you for your omnipotence. You're all-powerful, Father God. And Lord God, we pray, oh, Father God, because you said the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to remember the school children, oh, Father God, those that are in school, God, the high school students, Lord God, college, Lord God, we just pray that the blood of Jesus, Lord God, would cover, Lord God, these institutions, Father God, these buildings, oh, Father God, our children, oh, Father God, while they're out and about, oh, Father God, we just pray, oh, Father God, for wisdom, Lord God, upon, oh, Father God, the school systems, oh, Father God, we pray, oh, God, that there be a watch out, oh, Father, we just pray, oh, Father God, that there be alertness, Father God, we pray, God, that there be awareness, Father God, we pray, oh, Father God, that there be plans in motion, oh, Father God, for the protection of all, Father God, we just pray, oh, Father God, and we pray, oh, Father God, even for the curriculum, Father God, things that have been taught in the schools, oh, Father God, that they will line up and meet up with your criteria, Father God, we pray, oh, Father, for your divine intervention, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, that our children, Lord God, will grow up, oh, Father God, and be strong in you, God, we pray, God, for more strength, even now for ourselves, as we recognize the day that we're in, oh, Father God, Lord God, and our children, Lord God, will face, Lord God, some things in the future, Lord God, that we've never had the uh, idea about, oh, Father God, should Jesus tarry, oh, Father God, so help us, Lord God, to be, oh, God, armed and dangerous so that we can prepare, God, that we can impart into the lives of these young people, oh, Father God, and Lord, we thank and praise you, Father God, we pray over the Father God. Oh, Lord God, for those that are in a crisis situation right now, Father, somebody may be in a hospital emergency room or this place or that place, Lord God, in a situation, Father God, but God, we pray for your divine intervention. We pray that you dispatch angels, Father God. We pray for miracles, Father God. We pray, oh, Father, for your help, God. We pray, oh, Father God, oh, Lord God, for you to send in divine connections, Father God, whatever help, whatever aid is needed in this situation, Lord God. We pray for strength, Lord God, for those that feel like giving up, oh, Father God, those that feel like they just can't make it another moment, they're tired of the journey, Father, and Lord God, we pray, oh, Father God, against the spirit of suicide, Father, we bind this devil in the name of Jesus, Father God, and we lose your power, Father God, your courage, Lord God, your will to live, Lord God, we break off their lives, discouragement, Father, in Jesus' name, oh, Father God, Lord God, and we speak life to them, we speak hope to them, Lord God, we declare and prophesy, Lord God, you can make it, oh, Father, Hallelujah. You can make it. It is not over, bless God. Oh, God always has the final say, praise God. We thank you, Father, and we praise you for being a very present help in the time of trouble, Lord God. We pray, oh, Father God, that you bless your people to unload, to declutter, Lord God. You said in your word that we can cast our cares upon you because you care for us, Lord God. Let us not, Lord God, carry a heavy load, oh, Father God. And Lord, we just pray, oh, Father God, Oh, Lord God, for those, oh, Father God, that may come later, oh, Father God, to watch this video, oh, Father God, we just pray, oh, Father God, that uh, your protection would be over them, over their homes, Lord God, over our neighborhoods, oh, Father, that the blood of Jesus would be around our dwellings, oh, Father God, that the blood of Jesus would cover our automobiles, oh, Father God, our goings, our comings, oh, Father God, that the blood of Jesus would cover families and family situations, oh, Father God, and bring families back together again, God, and give families a renewed hope, oh, Father God. God, and bring families back to the family altar, Father God, that families would again pray together, Father God, that uh, oh, like God, you would just have your way, oh, Father. So we thank you, God, for your kindness, Father. Thank you for your generosity, Lord God. Thank you for moving in our midst right now, oh, Father God, Lord. And we pray, oh, God, for families, Lord God, that may be grieving tonight, oh, Father God, Lord God, we are uh, Oh, Lord God, know of one family, Lord God, that got some distressing news, oh, Father God, about a loved one, oh, Father God, that uh, is having challenges in the emergency room, Father. We just thank you, God, for just being a, 
a very present help. And thank you for all the prayers that are going up in behalf of Father. And we just pray for families, oh, Father God. We don't know, uh, Lord God, what all they're going through, but we pray for strength, Father God. We pray for grace, Lord God. We pray, oh, Father God, for mercy, oh, Father God. And Lord, we thank and praise you, oh, Father God. We bless you, Lord God. We pray, oh, Father God, for those that are lonely tonight, oh, Father God. Those that are lonely, oh, Father God. We pray, oh, Father God, that you bless us, Lord God, that be focused and watch out, Lord God, and uh, be more mindful of people, oh, Father God, that might need our help and need our assistance, oh, Father God. We pray, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we wouldn't live like we're on an island to ourselves, oh, Father God, but that we would have the focus, Lord God, to look around us and be directed by you, Lord God, in case, Lord God, you want to do something or use us to do something here or there or anywhere, oh, Father God. We pray, oh, Father God, that you would have kept us with the grace, oh, Father God, to be of assistance, oh, Father God. And we thank you, Father, and we praise you, Father God. We bless you, Lord God. We honor you for your Holy Spirit, Father. And we just pray, Lord God, in our midst, Lord God, as we... um continue in your presence, Lord, that you would just have your way, oh, Father God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, even, Lord God, looking over, Lord God, we see Anna, oh, Lord God, has uh, uh, popped up. She's always in to encourage us, Lord God, and we just thank and praise you. She says, good evening. I need prayer for my grandson, King. Very sensitive behavior issue he is um, having. Okay. Thank you, Lord God. And Father God, we lift that petition before you, Father God. We know there's nothing too hard for you, Father God. We pray for her grandson, King, oh, Father God. And Lord God, we know you put him on the planet for a purpose, oh, Father God. And Lord, he can do nothing without you, Lord. But you said, God, we could call on you in the day of trouble, Father God. So, Lord, we call on you, Lord God. We ask you to touch, Lord God, this young this child, Father God, we pray you touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, God, that you make the necessary adjustments that he needs, oh, Father God, in his body, oh, Father God. Uh, and uh, Lord God, we just thank and praise you, Father God, and we bless you, Lord God. And um, we thank you, Lord God, that Anna says she literally just found out about this before she came in. So God, we thank and praise you, Father God, that Lord, you knew, oh God, before we even got on tonight, oh Father God, that this situation would be going on, oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus over this situation, Lord God, and we bind and break the power of hell off of his life in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We loose your plan, your healing, God, your deliverance, Lord God, to this child in the name of Jesus, Father God. And Lord God, we just thank and praise you, Father God. We pray for wisdom, Lord God, around those who are uh, uh, watching over him, God, those who may be um, doctors or what have you. Uh, God, we just pray for your wisdom, Father God. You know what's needed, oh, Father God. We pray for your protection, God, that only that which you desire to be done for this little child, oh, Lord God, to be done, oh, Father God. We recognize, Father God, and with you all things are possible. We thank you, God, for your divine intervention in this situation, Father God. Lord, we thank you for your deliverance for this young man, for King, oh, Father God. And we give you all the glory, Father. We give you all the praise, oh, Father God. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, let Anna be encouraged tonight. Let the family be encouraged, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, Father God. And we bind, we take authority over fear, God. We take authority over worry. We take authority over anxiety and all the stress and duress in the name of Jesus. We break the power of it. Lord God, we lose your peace, Lord, that pass of all understanding, oh, Father God. We thank you, God. You're such a great God that you would gift us with peace, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God, and what can we do, God, without your peace, oh, Father God? Lord, you are the God that gives us peace right in the midst of a storm, right in the midst of turbulence, oh, Father God. And we just thank and praise you, Father God, for blessing us to be carriers of your peace in Jesus' name, oh, Father God. And Lord, we just speak peace to Anna, Father, to her family and to those that may need peace tonight, Lord God. We just release that peace in Jesus' name, and so, Lord God, we just thank and praise you, Father God, and we just bless them with your peace. Yeah. The pass of all understanding, Father, what a good God you are, Father God. We thank you and praise you, Father God, that you've given us your peace, oh, Father God. Lord God, we bless and praise and honor you for that. Lord God, we love you and thank you so much, oh, Father God, for the power of your peace, oh, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God.
angels, God, just to encamp around this young man, Father. Yes, yes. Just angels just to encamp around him, God, and he's going out and he's coming in, Father. Oh, and God, we lose, God, encouragement, God. We lose, God, hallelujah, laughter. We lose, God, goodwill, Father, in the name of Jesus today, God. Oh, God, we lose, God, hallelujah, God, in peace, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Over not just that household, Father, but all our households is everywhere, God. Oh, God, there's so much going on, Father. Oh, God, hallelujah, Father. We bind murder, God. We bind so many things, mental illness, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, we lose, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, your goodness, God, in each and every house, God. Oh, we lose, God, calmness, Father. We lose, Father, in the name of Jesus, a restful spirit, Father, oh, that would come up all yes. top of each and every one of us, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, and God, we thank you, God. Keep our eyes open, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. I go back to that, uh, looking in that rear view mirror, God. There's much to when you're in a car, Father. There's much you having to look in all kinds of directions. You got to look on the side at them blind spots. You got to look in the rear view mirror. You got to be looking ahead. You got to be looking to the left or the right. Father, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Oh, it takes your protection, Father. Oh, to go before us each and every day, Father. Oh, keep us alert. Hallelujah, Father. Keep us watchful, Father. And keep us restful in the name of Jesus, Father. Not fretting about anything, Father. And give each and every one of your children, God, good night sleeps, God. Sleep, God. Each and every night, Father. Oh, a restful sleep, Father, in the name of Jesus. Not worrying about anything. Let a calm come up over your people, Father. Oh, Father, that we have the ability to put on the strength, God, that you're pouring out in our lives in this hour, God. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God. Keep our minds stayed on you, God. You said if we keep our minds stayed on you, you would keep us not just in any kind of peace, in perfect peace if our mind is stayed on you, Father. Keep our minds, Father, focused and stayed on you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Above all things, Father, our minds stayed on you, Jesus, looking unto you, Father. Or from whence cometh our help, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we just pray, oh, Father God, for those, oh, Father God, that may have looked in the mirror, rearview mirror, God, and stumbled upon unforgiveness, oh, Father God. And Lord God, where they have placed themselves on a hook, oh, Father God, because perhaps, Lord God, in the past that they missed the mark, oh, Father God, or they didn't do something right, oh, Father God. Um, oh, Lord God, they blame themselves, oh, Father God, and they say, if only I would have, should have, could have. God, we pray, Father God, for deliverance, Lord God, to the heart issue of that, oh, Father God, that you would tonight, Lord, with your anointing, allow them to let themselves off the hook, that they will forgive themselves, oh, Father God. We release ourselves. We forgive ourselves for falling short. We forgive ourselves for not making the right decision. We forgive ourselves if only we done that or we went left and we were supposed to go right. We let ourselves off the hook. We trusted the wrong people. We put our trust in the We let ourselves off the hook. We forgive ourselves, oh, Father God. Lord, we pray, God, that you bless us to remember that you love us, oh, Father God, and you want us to love ourselves, oh, Father God. And so, Lord, we thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus, oh, Father God, the power in the presence of the Lord, oh, Father God, to cause people to say enough is enough. I'm tired of looking back. I'm tired of the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And Lord, let them cast those cares and those worries into your hands, oh God. Father, we pray that this is a night that you bless people to know how much you love them, Lord God, the price that you paid, that you sent Jesus for the woulda, shoulda, coulda, that you should sent Jesus for the if only I wish uh, oh father God that Jesus shed his blood for every mistake everything that we done not like you oh father God so Lord we thank you for blessing them to know the love of God oh father God that can't be weighed the love of God that cannot be measured for them the love of God
God, oh God, that uh, oh my God, no man can lift, no man can put his arms around because your love is endless, oh Father God. Your love is infinite, oh Father God. Some love us because of, but you love us in spite of, oh Father God. Lord, we thank you and praise you that you gave your all for us, Jesus. Uh, so Father, we thank you, Lord God. Let these souls, Lord God, we lose, Lord God. Oh, God, uh, encouragement, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you forgive us, Lord God, for holding unforgiveness against ourselves, oh, Father God. And, Lord, we, that you will cleanse us from everything not like you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. And we pray, oh, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, that, Lord God, your blessings, Lord God, your peace tonight, oh, Father God, will make divine visitations that the oil of the Holy Spirit yeah that the all of the Holy Spirit, oh, Father God, will just be released, oh, Father God. Oh, Lord God, within the hearts, oh, Father God, within the minds, oh, Father God, that you just pour in the fresh oil, Father God, that we will be filled, Lord God, with the new wine, oh, God, that, that, we, will be ref that we will be refreshed, Lord God, from your presence, oh, Father God. Lord, we pray, oh, Father God, Oh, Lord God, that we would taste your goodness and your mercy, Father God, because we let go of unforgiveness, Lord God. Let us taste the fresh and the new, God. We pray you lead, Lord God, every soul, Father God, that has let go, God. Lead, oh, Father God, every soul that decided that they're no longer going to be bound, looking back and looking into the rearview mirror, God, but they're going to look forward, Lord God, into, Lord God, the mirror of possibility, Lord God, looking forward into your word, oh, Father God. And Lord God, you asked the question of Abraham. You said, is anything too hard for God? Father God, then we hadn't been able to find an answer for that, oh, Father God. There's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing too difficult for God. You can make it. You can do this thing. You were born for a day like this, praise mm -hmm. God. You're here for such a time as this. You matter. Your words matter. Your uniqueness matter. Everything about you matters, praise God. So, Father, we thank you and praise you, oh, Father God. And we honor you, Lord God. And we thank you and praise you for the uh, Anna's in this land, oh, Father God, and we thank you for Ella, Lord God, we thank you. She says, uh, thank you and bless both evangelists. The prayer of the righteous develop much glory. Amen. And Father God, we pray for Ella, Lord God. We pray for her family, God. We pray for her loved ones, oh, Father God. We pray for a divine visitation, Lord God, that you would unwrap, untie, and unloose, Lord God, anything the enemy tried to put around them in any way, God, to hold them in captivity. Activity, Father God. Let them know true freedom, Father God. Let the children her children know true freedom, Father God. Lord God, grandchildren, Lord God, generations to come, Lord God. We pray, oh Father, for the woman of God. We pray for our ministry, Father God. We pray, oh Father God, that you will strengthen her where she's weak at. Build her up and make her strong, God. We pray that even as she's in our home, God, she would just lift up her hands. Ella, you would just lift up your hands. And God, we ask you to flood her God with the living water father wash out Lord God all the weights Lord God wash out father the stress wash out, oh, Father God, anything, Lord God, that will rain on her parade, oh, Father God, and let her know a uh, refreshing, Father God, let her know in this hour, Father God, a uh, replenishing, oh, Father God, let her know what rejuvenation feels like, oh, Father God, Lord, we ask you, Father, visit Ella, visit her home, visit her family, visit her children, visit her finances, Lord, visit, Lord God, her future, Lord God, visit her ministry, Father God, God, visit those gifts, Lord God, that you've given unto her, God. We know, Lord God, she sings for you, God. She's a psalmist, oh, Father God. Visit those songs, oh, Father God. And Lord, we ask you to bring out the new songs, Lord God, right on the spot. Let Ella begin to sing the song of the Lord, oh, Father God. Lord, do the fresh and the new within her, God. Use her, Lord God, as a vehicle of healing, Lord God, that as she sings, Lord God, healing will come forward, Father God. Lord, let her, God, get used to the shift, God, that you're taking her in a new dimension, oh, Father God. 
and let her go with your flow, Father God, and ease her into that thing, oh, Father God, that, Lord God, she'll look and she'll see, God, she's in that new place of ministry, Lord God, that's fresh and new, oh, Father God, and, Lord, let her get testimonies back, oh, Father God, that, Lord God, you're touching people through her songs, that you are touching people through the ministry, oh, Father God, and we thank you, Lord God, we thank you for Carlos, oh, Father, and what you're doing in her life, Lord God, how precious she is to you, God. And we thank and praise you, Father God, for taking care of whatever situations, Father God, that needs to be taken care of in this hour that concerns her, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you, God, and we praise you, Father God. Anna said, I claim these prayers for Scott and King's mother and the entire household. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for Anna. She's such a wise woman, oh, Father God. And Lord God, you love that about people, Lord God, that will reach out and say, I want that for my family, Lord God. And know, oh, Father God, that you are a generous God, oh, Father God. And we thank you and praise you, Father God. And we bless you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. And I had a, just a scripture prophet I wanted to just share. It was, uh, it's in mm -hmm. Psalm Amen. 73, 26. And yeah. a new, um, uh, yeah, international version. Mm -hmm. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart. And my yeah. voice forever. And Father, we just ask you to strengthen our hearts, God. Be the strength of our hearts, God. In this hour, God, and in the hours to come, Father. Be the strength of our heart, Father. We thank yes. you. All else may fail around us, Father. We may trip and fall. We can get back up. But you the strength of our heart, Father. Oh, God, you are forgiving God. You are loving God, Father. You have the best interest for our hearts in mind, Father. And we thank yeah. God for those things. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 And you know what? What the Lord just brought to me. And I think we're going to go out on this. And Amen. three words. I want more. I want more. I want more. Yes. And we're saying that because in the first chapter of the book of Esther, yes. when the king threw that second party that was I think it was a um, living Bible translation. They threw that second party. He told the servants, he's for the guests. He said, give them all they want, but not more than they want. Amen. Give them all they want. What a generous king. He said, but don't give them more than they want. You know, when they gathered the manna, they gathered the manna. He told them to take what they're going to use, but don't take excess. So God will give us all we want, but not more than we want. But Amen. I sense there's some hungry campers here that are yeah. saying tonight, I want more. Amen. God, I want more. I can yeah. take some more. And it's like literally I see a balloon up to a mouth and you, you're saying you can take more. So God is breathing in more. <sighs> yes. Take more. <sighs> And, you know, so at some point that balloon expands so that you have to get um, flexible in order to take some more. You have to just put it in in a way that, you know, you know it's going to fit in there, but you have to be careful how you put it in there. And the more pliable that balloon is, you can put it in there. So God is looking for some yielded vessels. So you say you want more. He's going to give you more, praise God. He's going to show you how to get that more, how to walk in that more, how to carry that more, praise God. Mm -hmm. So we want to be sure the dialogue with the Holy Spirit on this week. Father, I want more. Yes. And we read that first uh, chapter of the book of Esther. Read it. Try to get the Living Bible translation and um, and everything. And you'll see, he said, give them all they want, but not more than they want. Oh, my, my, my. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, my. We could go and preach that, but we were not going to do that. Praise yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, praise
praise God, praise God. But we want more, praise God. We want more of God. We want more of his peace, more of his joy. We want more of his presence, praise God. We want to go to a new place of glory. We want more revelation, more illumination, praise God. We want more of his touch, more hands-on from God, praise God, more visitations from the Lord. We want more, more, more. We want to hear his voice in a greater dimension, praise God. We want to be a greater blessing, bless God. Amen. So all the more that God wants to pour into us, we want it, praise God, because he says every good and perfect thing comes from the Father above. So when we asking God for more, he's not giving out no junk food, praise God. He's giving out the real deal because that's all he got is good stuff. He's just full of goodness, praise God. And so we bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And that's Anna, first chapter of Esther. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yeah. So we declare we want more on this week. So praise yeah. God. We just bless and praise the name of the Lord. It has been um, just a wonderful time. And we want to just remember we going forward. We're not going to get caught up. We're looking there as we're driving our cars. Sometimes we need to look back for a moment, but we're not going to get stuck on looking back. We're going forward, praise God. We're going with the current, praise God. We're going, bless God, in the direction that the Holy Spirit is beckoning us to, praise God. We're going focus, and we're going past distractions, and we're going past uh, stress. We're going past all this stuff to try to pull on us and steal our peace and steal our joy and steal our time, praise God. We're going past worry. We're going past all those things that will pull on us. Bless God. We're going to stay focused, praise God. We are pressing toward the mark. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We're pressing forward into the will and into the plan of God for our lives. Bless God. Yes. We're pressing, praise God. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Amen. Anna says, thank you, Pastor B and Apostle Wallet, and praise God. And Anna, thank you so much. Bless God. You just uh, encourage us so much. Praise yes. God. And you know, it's amazing, Anna. Sometimes we don't know the power that we have, you know, just uh, how you come on and you encourage us. You know, we thank God for you. Thank God for Ella uh, popping on and everything. And what a source of encouragement, praise God. And uh, so we bless our God, praise God. Cindy, you have last words and uh, take us out. Uh, 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 just thanking God for the night prophet and just, oh, just good food, just wonderful uh, encouraging words, you know, to uplift us all, Prophet. And yes, yes. It's a beautiful time and a beautiful night, you know, and just how he is still just sitting on the front. He still knows, you know, yes. and we can trust in him and, and just learning how to just uh, not look in the rear view mirror yes. and just keep looking forward and he'll keep our lives balanced, you know, and he'll keep us in perfect peace. Yes, and yes. And that's what we're looking for. That's the more. Yes. We want more of those. We want more yes. uh, uh, preservatives in our yes. lives. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. God. Amen. I strengthen. So Amen. enough. Yes, God. Amen. So praise God. God. God bless you, you and you. Praise Jesus. And may the Lord just continue to uh, keep you strong and keep you focused and keep you going forward for the glory of God. And we're getting ready to make a shift into a new dimension in God. Praise God. We're going to a new place of glory from glory to glory to glory. Praise God. It's supernatural. Praise God. Now you see us. Praise God. And uh, 